Here we go again, guys. What? It's the new Botox. Haven't you heard? <sighs> J.Lo has now given olive oil a five minutes of fame. Please do not put olive oil on your face. It will not make you look like J.Lo. It does not have any neuromodular properties like Botox. It will not get rid of your wrinkles, nor will it cause muscle paralysis and that you cannot contract your muscles. Hi guys, for anyone new here, hello, I'm Dr. Alexis, I'm a board certified dermatologist, I have a background in cosmetic chemistry, and I take all of my knowledge and deliver it to you so that you can make the best skincare decisions, one of which should be not putting olive oil on your face. Why, you may ask? Well, olive oil, while it is considered an occlusive agent, is rich in oleic acid. Oleic acid is a fatty acid, and so you guys may be thinking, well, that's a good thing, right? Fatty acid choice is critical because fatty acids affect how much something can actually penetrate or get into the skin. If you remember from my other videos, you need cholesterol, fatty acids, and ceramides to make a complete moisturizer. So yes, fatty acids are good, but you wanna make sure that you're using the proper ratio of these ingredients. So this perfect ratio is what helps to keep the skin locked tight and keep water in the skin and repel water from leaving out of the skin. So if you're just using a fatty acid like oleic acid, which is found in olive oil as your moisturizer, you're going to end up disrupting and impairing your skin membrane barrier. Now, when you look at the tail of the fatty acids, that is the structural changes that you will usually see. Now, how close together the legs are or how wide apart the legs are determines how much something is going to be able to get into the actual skin membrane. Oleic acid has a very wide tail, creating holes, gaps, and spaces. Now, when you have these holes or gaps in the skin membrane barrier, that means that water can now escape out, leading to transepidermal water loss and dehydration. These holes or gaps can also allow things to get into the skin, things like irritants and allergens and bacteria. So this is where you get contact dermatitis or even flares of acne, eczema, rosacea. Basically, any kind of inflammatory skin condition can worsen if you're using olive oil on your skin. The side note of this is that olive oil can increase skin penetration of ingredients that you do want into the skin, things like those really expensive anti-aging products. But there are much better skin penetration ingredients that don't have that possible side effect of disruption in the skin barrier. My recommendation would be to go with something more like a glycerol if you're trying to enhance skin penetration or even hyaluronic acid. What is this magical skin barrier? Well, it's actually located in the epidermis. Now the epidermis is that topmost layer of the skin and the very top layer is called the stratum corneum. This is what holds all of the dead skin cells. It's a thick layer. And those dead skin cells are actually surrounded by lipids. Now the lipid is the most important part of this skin barrier. It's what we're talking about right now. It protects your skin from a lot of environmental stressors and it also holds important things in like water. It is made up almost like a brick wall because you can think of the keratinocytes as these rectangular bricks and the lipids as the mortar that holds the bricks together. So they're in between each keratinocyte surrounding and protecting them. All right guys, you know that I'm gonna get a little bit sciency here. If you look closely, you can actually see that the lipids are formed in multiple bilayers. And close up, these lipids are cholesterol, ceramides, and fatty acids. They actually have to fit together just right in this three-dimensional like puzzle. So it's a ratio that's very important of one to one to one. And that is why when you're looking for different ceramides and moisturizers, you wanna make sure that the ratio is just right. So you can imagine if you're putting olive oil on your skin, you're throwing that ratio off because it's only rich in the oleic acid fatty acid. The lipids are structured in such a way that they have heads and tails. Now the heads are water loving and the tails are water fearing. The fatty acids will line up in such a way that all the tails are facing each other and all of the heads are on the outside. 
this creates this beautiful division for our skin barrier where we're holding water in and we're repelling water from leaving. So you may be wondering if there are any skin benefits of using olive oil. Olive oil is derived from a fruit tree and it's the Alia Europa fruit tree. And it has a lot of benefits. It's actually quite rich in antioxidant benefits and it also has polyphenols, which are very beneficial for the skin. The issue is that because of that shape that we discussed, you're gonna end up with holes or gaps, spaces within the skin membrane barrier. So this disruption in the skin membrane barrier causes impairment that just pretty much makes the risk outweigh the benefits when it comes to choosing olive oil as your sole type of moisturizer. Now don't get me wrong, olive oil when formulated with a cosmetic chemist with other supporting ingredients to make up that one to one to one ratio that we just talked about in combination with other fatty acids is perfectly safe to use in skincare. So if you see olive oil listed in one of your skincare products, please don't freak out about it. That was formulated by a cosmetic chemist who knows what they're doing and didn't just go get the olive oil from out of the kitchen cabinet and put it on the face. So I think that's also very important to note. Also guys, there is some good news. If you look on the website of JLo Skincare Brand, you will see that it's not just olive oil in a bottle. It's actually formulated with many other supporting ingredients and it's something called the JLo Olive Complex. So this is something that they have patented and it's four different types of oils, if you will, in this olive complex, of which olive oil is only a very small portion of. So I don't want you all thinking that I'm saying don't use JLo's brand because it has olive oil. I've actually not tried the brand myself, but I'm simply telling you do not get the olive oil from out of the kitchen cabinet and use it in that way. So as you can see here, guys, the JLo Beauty Olive Complex is very well-rounded. It's got squalene and fermented oil and extra virgin olive oil and leaf extract, in addition to multiple other ingredients. So I already hear the question, Dr. Stevens, are there any facial oils that you recommend? Yes, there are, but I have to tell you that I have a favorite, which is argan oil. It is perfectly safe to use on the face. So if you are someone who has been thinking about using olive oil, you're really interested in using a facial oil, I would recommend to use argan oil. And I'll list one of my favorites down below. All right guys, I hope this shed some light on olive oil and skincare. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I would absolutely love to have you join the family. Happy holidays and until next time, be well.